time to see if a pink roller works with white paint. Easy. So easy. So the good news is the tuna's not bleeding anymore. There's a few little nodules, but they look like they're healed. We had a really slow start to the week, with the rain stopping our painting progress. But it did give us the opportunity to catch up with budgeting, putting in new orders, and of course video editing. And we got to spend some quality time with little Bimba as well, which is very nice. Jim was then back on board with his master project of painting every last inch of chuffed. Time to see if a pink roller works with white paint. I think it works. Meanwhile for me, the local veterinarian was away with her father being sick from COVID and so I took over the emergency treatments at the clinic and of course we were continuing the chemotherapy treatment for beautiful little Pachita. <laughs> Oh, it's getting so much smaller. Wow. She's going to have some scarring, but um, it's looking way better. Really good. Ooh. <laughs> well, I'm going to get one photo of it so yeah. you have that for the uh, records. Normally with this type of chemotherapy, a minimum of four weeks is needed, but it was really promising to see such great results after just two treatments. It really is a wonder drug for treating transmissible venereal tumor cases like Pachita. Um, it's possible with each injection, the effects of the chemotherapy sometimes hits them a little harder each time. So sometimes they'll feel a bit more lethargic and a bit more nauseous with each one. So. Trying to work out whether she's just getting really relaxed with us or if she doesn't feel real good. <laughs> she might just be getting pretty chill. Mm -hmm. I think she might feel a little sick. Okay. Came out early in the morning to paint. What? Um, but it's raining which is unusual, so just gonna have to wait. Notice anything different on board? We have flooring. We're almost definitely gonna have to lift the whole lot up again when we do some last minute wiring and plumbing and you know, to do a big clean at the end. But for now, I forgot what it was like to have a floor. We are, however, missing a piece. It is probably here somewhere. But as we put it all back together, we'll find it. But yeah, feels good. So nice to be able to walk on floor and not fall through and not be like, all the time. <laughs> we are at a kind of annoying part of the project where there's just all these little jobs coming together at once, like filling all these tiny screw holes so that Jim can then paint over them. And of course, preparing to start putting everything back together.
We are doing deck fittings. We've got these Vetus little mushroom ventilators. And I pre-drilled all the holes using one of them. And I guess they're not the same. So even though they're the exact same brand, exact same product, the holes aren't the same. So I had to, we're now having to re-drill the holes, which is a pain in the butt. But anyway, um, yeah. So we're putting those on. We already did one and then we're moving back there to do more deck fittings. So just to show you the trouble we're having with these Vetus products, they're pretty expensive for what they are. They're like 60 odd dollars. And for some reason, the holes don't line up. So you can see like we've got this hole lined up here. And while that's lined up, that hole doesn't line up. That hole doesn't line up. That one doesn't line up. And no matter how we turn it, and we've drilled it using the other half of this as the template, it just doesn't match up. So a lot more drilling and fixing. Oh yeah, that's probably a good idea. Okay. I'm just gonna hand. I'm just gonna put them on each. Oh yeah. So if you just kind of put some pressure on it. Mhm. Mm yeah, and then you can just go straight to the other, four. Other port. Oh, I'm facing the other way to you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Boat port, not my port. Okay. Now we've got the little mushroom venties on. It is time to do the clutches, which notoriously me never seem to want to line up even though I've tested it a hundred times so basically we were putting sealant on the bottom of the block under the clutches themselves on top of the block and then um, placing them on it'll be kind of like this My monkey feet really came in handy for this one. Ugh, oh, the deck fittings. They could have been done in a way that might have been better and simpler, but it's one of those things that you really do learn as you go along. These types of jobs are frustrating because they seem quite simple and then they end up taking a really long time and become a frustrating experience for everyone, especially Captain Cranky Pants over here. And the way they've designed this to try and get the screws in is like fucking impossible too. Bottoms now not lined up. Um, can you try stick something up through the bottom, like that I can try and use to get this aligned? We did, however, learn from our mistakes, and thankfully, the second deck fitting attaching the clutches went on way easier. Yeah. Okay. Back in 
inside. Yep. Okay. That's it. That's it? Oh. Thank God. Easy. So easy. Dream come true. We knew it was not going to be easy, but <laughs> took what, like six hours to do that? Yeah. <laughs> so annoying. <laughs> Kind of see in there. That we can't see any more tumor. There's a few little nodules, but all in all looks good, and they're not bleeding when I touch them. So the good news is the tumor's not bleeding anymore. There's a few little nodules, but they look like they're healed. However. Normally we would take a sample to look at under a microscope and since we can't since we can't do that here um, I'm actually going to do an extra injection today and make that five weeks of treatment just so that we can be really really sure because if we stop too early the treatment basically won't work again so we really want to be 100% sure. The chemotherapy agent called vincristine is given very slowly into the vein to help reduce side effects and so that we can monitor the patients closely. Being able to spend time with her and her family really hit home how important these treatments are. Nothing makes her timid like taking the camera out. <laughs> she's jumping around and sees you put this in her face, she's like, no. You were showing off before. You were jumping up really high. You gonna jump up on me? You gonna jump up on me? You gonna jump up on me? Yeah. <laughs> what a whim. Yeah, she like she's, gets all playful. She's scared of the camera. She gets all playful and then you touch her and she's like, oh. Now just in time for the rain to start. We have finished by Tifa. And um, yeah, it's very, very cool because Today was her last injection. We, like I said, we did the one more today just to be extra, like extra, extra sure because um, we just don't have the testing available here to feel secure with our tests. So we just want to be sure. Um, we're going to check her again in two weeks. But since she's been spayed and we've done this treatment, this tumor should not come back and she should never catch it again because she won't be having sex with other dogs. So yeah, it's very, very cool that the teacher is all better. So yeah. Poor little darling, I felt, I felt more and more guilty with each passing injection because every time she gets a new dose, her body feels worse from it, which is quite common with chemotherapy. And today you could tell she was like, oh, I feel weird. <laughs> but yeah, it's all good news because it's the end. And it's really cute because when we come, she still gets so excited to see us and then remembers, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I know what happens here. But yeah, good news all around. And thank you to all you guys who helped treat Pachita too. And in two weeks we'll check her again and hopefully, um, yeah, she will be a cured dog, cured from cancer. Pachita's follow-up consult showed that she was completely cured of her tumour, which is excellent news for us, Pachita and her family. We couldn't be doing this without each and every one of you, so from us and Pachita and her family, a huge, huge thank you. If you like what we're doing, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, or become a patron for as little as a dollar a month to get live updates and much more. And of course, it helps save dogs just like Pachita and get our floating veterinary clinic in the water sooner. Until next time, stay chuffed everybody.